I was sitting on my house on a Saturday afternoon watching a basketball game. And the phone rang, and a pal of mine, who had worked with on four shows, was on the other end. It was Phil Rosenthal, and he said, Jeremy, what are you doing? I said, I'm watching a game. He said, I just finished writing the first draft of my pilot. I'd love, love you to read it. And I said, absolutely, send it over. And an hour and a half later, he picked up his phone. And he said, hello. And I said, we're on for 10 years. And Phil said, what? I said, you heard what I said. We're on for 10 years. He said, well, wait a minute. There's nothing. There's a long way to go before anything yet. I said, listen carefully to these words, Phil, because I speak to thee the truth. We are on for 10 years. He said, you, you liked it? Phil's a modest guy. He knows who he is, but he's, he's a modest guy. He said, you, you liked it? I said, I loved it. I said, I've been around a while, Phil. This is the best pilot I've ever written. I've ever, not written, I wish I'd written Freudian slip ever, I've ever read. And um, he said, what? I said, it's great. It's fantastic. I said, the characters are great. The central character is great. The, the comedic elements are great. The, 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 the comedic the central co conflicts are great. The, the setup is wonderful. Uh, the, 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 you have a set piece. The set piece, you know, the Fruit of the Month is, is, is hilarious. I said, the characters are so well realized and the dynamic, the relationship and the, and the story that you've told, it's beautifully clearly. I said, it's fantastic. I said, I, you know, and, and it's you. I said, I know who you are. Even before I read this, I said, I mean, you're a wonderful, wonderful writer. And I said, this is, there. I said, and I just was, you know, we're on for 10 years and just remember that. Put those words in your head because you'll see. You know, it's like sometimes you see the future. I think we've all had those experiences. I, I saw the future. I saw the future. There was no way that this was not, because I, what it was and who had done it was very clearly, oh, this is great. And he does this and he can do this and nothing's going to stop this. There were people over the years that I've seen that way and you go, you know where it's going. That was easy for me. Phil tells that story, by the way. He said, Jeremy said it's going to be on for 10 years, and Jeremy was wrong. We're only on for nine years. <laughs> so that's how it started. And, and can you tell me a little bit about reading that actual Fruit of the Month scene? That... You know, it was not just the Fruit of the Month scene. The Fruit of the Month scene is hilarious. And it comes off the paper, even before it was so wonderfully cast. Um, reading the script was what I just said. It was like, uh, it was a revelation. It was like, here's this, this, this buddy of mine who I know is a wonderful writer. But, but when you get a script like that and you go, you just, you, right away, the, the people are wonderfully dimensional, specific, alive, funny. It's just, it's something that, get it and read it, I say to all writers. That, that, that should be in every writing course. That's one of the pieces of writing that should be there because it's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's a textbook. It's a textbook, and it, it tells you, and it's, you see, the great thing about it is that it's, it's personal. It's, it's, Phil was writing from himself. And he was, he's a brilliant guy. He was able to absorb Ray, having met Ray. He spent time with Ray and absorbed Ray. So he was obviously writing what, it, he was writing them both. But he was, finally, it's, when you absorb someone else, it's only because you can resonate to them. So it comes from, it comes from the real place. It's like, it's the real truth. It's, you know, somebody, somebody great. It wasn't Shakespeare, but some wonderful artist from, from the ages once said that genius is really the knowledge. Geniuses are people that have the, the knowledge, either consciously or unconsciously. They have the knowledge that what's in your secret heart is in everybody's. And you look at that script, you will see your secret heart in it. You don't have to even see the rest of the series, but it's there and it connects because it's, it's, it's the truth. It's wonderful comedy. It's wonderfully crafted. It's wonderfully dramatized. It's life heightened, dramatized. It's comedically exaggerated, but it's the truth. It, it, it's based on truth and something just as important, maybe even more important, because what is the truth? It's based on love. It's all about, it's all, at its root, it's about human beings and their love for each other. That's, that's, what it, that's what a family is. That's what's so great about a family show. I mean, a family show is, what, what is a family? No matter what it is, we were our famous dysfunctional family. That's what we see on television. But you know, the dysfunctional family that you run to the set to see is finally always, it's yours. These, are, these people are you. 
they're you because you know them. And if you know them, then they're you. The people you know in your life, are, they're all part of our, ourselves. And so, and, and, and if they're a family, there's always love. It's always love. Even the most dysfunctional family, it's, it's rooted in, in love. And if you got that, you don't have to say it. You don't have to do anything about it, but you got it. So it's profound. And I, that's why I recommend that pilot and that series, which I'm in love with. You know, it's all about the truth. Can you talk a little bit about shooting that first show, what you remember about it? It was just such a thrill. <laughs> it was such a, uh, such a thrill. I mean, it was, uh, I wouldn't say tense, it was intense. It was an intense, for me, an intense experience. Because, because uh, as I say, I, I felt, I just never had any doubt that this was the first of many. And I never felt like, oh, are we going to make it? Is it going to make it? It was an unrealistic view on my part, because everybody knows how, I mean, and we were going to be a Friday night show. And, you know, it's, it's tough to get a show to, to, to sustain artistically and commercially. I mean, but I just, I was there just with the intense thrill of, of the, the cast was so marvelous. We were getting it. It was, <laughs> working on it is exciting to do. It's just a joy. So what I remember was nothing but joy and excitement and, and, and high level of, uh, wow, you know, and, and the actors fulfilling it so beautifully. I thought, I loved it. I loved it all the way through. <laughs> I've had, I had that experience for nine years. Very, 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 very little disappointment. It was almost every, it was just nine years of, of joy.